WA-76 is a modern reproduction of the classic 76 Revision D. It uses the original engineering for the Cinemag Transformer design. Engineers crave the ultra-fast attack time, and we are confident you will love recording with the WA-76. Let's go over the features on the WA-76. The input knob determines the level of the signal entering the WA-76, as well as the compression threshold. Higher settings will result in increased amounts of limiting or compression. The output knob determines the final output level of signal leaving the WA-76. Once the desired amount of limiting or compression is achieved with the use of the input control, the output control can be used to make up any gain lost from the gain reduction. The attack knob sets the amount of time it takes the WA-76 to respond to an incoming signal and begin compressing. Having too fast of an attack time can sometimes cause a recording to sound less lifelike or open. The WA-76 attack time is adjustable from 20 microseconds to 800 microseconds. Even set to its slowest attack, the WA-76 will have a faster attack than some other types of compressors, such as optical and variable mu. The release knob sets the amount of time it takes the WA-76 to return to its initial uncompressed level. The WA-76's release time is adjustable from 50 milliseconds to 1100 milliseconds, or 1.1 seconds. If the release time is too fast, pumping and breathing can occur due to the rapid rise of background noise during gain restoration. On the flip side, if the release time is too slow, a loud section of the recording may cause compression to occur and continue through a soft section of the recording, where it is unneeded, making the soft section quiet and difficult to hear. These four buttons determine the severity of the gain reduction. A ratio of 4 to 1, for example, means that whenever there is an increase of up to 4 decibels in the loudness of the input signal, there will only be a 1 dB increase in output level. A ratio of 8 to 1 means that any time there is an increase of up to 8 dB in the input signal, there will still only be a 1 dB increase in output level. Also, true to the classic design, higher ratio settings will also set the compression threshold at a higher level. This means that, for instance, at a ratio of 20 to 1, more of the body of a signal will be left uncompressed, but transients above its higher fixed threshold will be more drastically compressed. When higher ratios, 12 to 1 or 20 to 1, are selected, the WA-76 is essentially acting more as a limiter than as a compressor. The WA-76 can reproduce the classic effect known as all buttons in mode, sometimes also referred to as British mode or the four button trick. The resulting compression curve is aggressive and unmistakably unique and can be heard on the drum tracks of many classic recordings. All buttons in compression is typically characterized by having a very aggressive compression ratio, attack and release curves that are all more drastic plateaus as opposed to gentler slopes and more audible distortion or overdrive on the signal. The WA-76 must have at least one ratio select button engaged in order to function. With no ratio button engaged, the unit will eventually stop passing audio. The four buttons under the meter label power the unit on or off and determine what the WA-76's front panel meter displays. The VU meter displays either the amount of gain reduction, GR, or the compressor's output level, which is either plus eight or plus four. When plus eight is selected, a meter reading of zero corresponds to a level of eight dBm at the rear panel outputs. When plus four is selected, a meter reading of zero corresponds to a level of plus four dBm at the rear panel outputs. Engaging the off switch powers off the WA-76 entirely. The WA-76 meter can be adjusted via the rear meter adjust control. This requires a jeweler's screwdriver to operate. To calibrate the VU, connect power to the WA-76, set all four knobs to 12 o'clock, pad button not engaged, and no audio cables connected in or out. Set ratio select to four and meter select to GR. Adjust the meter trim pot until the needle rests at exactly zero. The meter is now calibrated. It is not unusual to need to recalibrate the VU after considerable time has passed or after the unit has been physically moved around or transported. Do not attempt to calibrate the VU meter from the front panel VU assembly. The input pad switch sits on the back side of the unit near the inputs. 
When engaged, it lowers the incoming signal by 23 dB. In most normal operations, the pad should not be necessary. This feature is handy when using a high gain preamp before the WA76 that does not have output attenuation or with a source with an extremely loud transient, such as a snare drum. When sending a loud line level signal into the WA76 input, this feature will provide greater flexibility to the WA76 input control, allowing you to turn it up higher before compression begins. Two inputs are provided on the back side of the WA76 for flexibility. One is a balanced TRS connection, the other is a balanced XLR. You can connect many line level sources directly to the WA76. Preamps such as the Warm Audio WA12 and TB12 are great sources to feed directly into the WA76 input. These inputs can be used simultaneously, but note that having both connected at the same time could create unwanted noise if one source is not actively carrying a signal to the WA76. Two outputs are provided on the back side of the WA76 for flexibility. One is a balanced TRS connection and the other is a balanced XLR. For unbalanced operation, use an unbalanced TS tip sleeve quarter inch cable. Thank you for purchasing the Warm Audio WA76 Discrete Compressor. We feel this product offers the best in terms of sound, function, and vibe from the classic era of analog recording. Whether this is the first piece of outboard gear you've ever purchased outside of a recording interface or merely the first in a long time, we thank you and we welcome you back to the world of analog.